Hey everyone, it's Steffi and Danielle, and we're here to answer all of your questions that you sent in from Instagram. Well, not all of them, as many as we can get to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we think it's probably the best to just answer off the cuff. We haven't like practiced this. We haven't really even looked at your questions. So we're just gonna go out on a limb and answer them as best as we can. Um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> we'll start with Danielle. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Danielle, what is your day like working with Steffi? Well, I get here at like 10 a.m. at her house and we just go through the day. I'll ship stuff for Depop, I'll post things. We'll sometimes go on a shoot, like we went out a couple hours out east last week yeah. and went to an apple picking orchard and did lots of fun stuff shooting. Um, and then yeah, I help her edit, I help her video edit, just do anything she All really of needs. <laughs> All of it, she's the best. <clears throat> How do you do your iconic bun hairstyle? So the bun hairstyle is actually really easy, way easier than it looks. It's literally just a ponytail and then on the last loop, I just keep a little fluff and then pin the back under. It's so easy. I have a tutorial on my YouTube for it if you wanna look after this video, but it takes me probably three minutes to do it. <laughs> How did you find out about Steffi? Um, well, I was actually following her friend Noelle, and Steffi popped up as someone who, like, it's like similar blogs to, and so I clicked on her and I was just in love with her feed, and then one day she was posting on her story that she needed an assistant, and I happened to be floating the idea of getting more of a study job. I'm also a freelance photographer, so it was a really good fit. Um, I met her at the interview, and it went amazing. And the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. What do you do for a living? <laughs> this is my favorite question um, because so many people ask this all the time. Um, I actually blog full time. I didn't always. I used to have a full time job up until like two months after my maternity leave ended. I left my job to blog full time. So I guess about a year and a half ago at this point. Um, before that, I was working in marketing and social media, but now this is actually my full-time job, so I work with companies um, to help them promote different products or to bring attention to new arrivals or just to bring you guys the best of the best every day. Um, it takes a lot of time to shoot and to edit and to constantly churn out content. So this is my full-time job and I feel super lucky that I get to do it all the time. <laughs> the clock came to, to visit. <laughs> <laughs> Always on your lap. Um, what is it like working for Steffi? It's really fun. Um, that's how I would describe it. We vibe really well, I think creatively, so it makes it super easy to get the shot and to get exactly what she needs. She can read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took me about a week of adjusting to like, hey, this is the angle she likes, this is the editing she likes, but otherwise, you know, it's it's just a really fun, genuine job. It's almost like hanging out with a friend all day, but of course we have an agenda and we have to get that work done. So. Yeah, we have so, we have so. <laughs> <laughs> we do we get to do a lot. We don't just sit here and we get talk to the done. camera all day. <laughs> There you go. All right. One for Claude. Yeah. Does Claude have Claude. a question? You have a question? <clears throat> I know. There's a lot of good ones. Okay. Tips on affording expensive pieces. Um, so what I do when I find, usually it's a bag that will catch my attention and I'm like, I have to have this, but it costs way too much money to just like drop right now. Um, I will go through my wardrobe, pull out literally a hundred things and sell them all. Um, I never like to spend money without putting money back in from some from somewhere. So I will sell a lot of things um, probably over like a month or two until I get closer to that point that I'm comfortable spending. I really don't like to spend more than like a hundred or two hundred dollars in one sitting. Um, so yeah, I'll sell a bunch of stuff and just wait patiently. It doesn't happen overnight. Camera that you use and your favorite editing apps. I personally love Canon. Um, 
just because I've used them for a while. I used to use Nikon and switched over just for personal reasons. I used the Canon 5D Mark IV and Steffi at her place. What, what the what do the Canon SL2. It's a it's great small. camera. It's yeah. small. But what really, really, really matters rather than the camera, you can really use any camera and you'll be fine. It's the lens that matters. Um, having a good range is great and also having a low f-stop is huge. And you know, learning manual settings. Those yeah. are the biggest tips I can give you. Uh, editing tips, is that what the last yeah, part was? Yeah, favorite editing apps. Editing apps. I honestly use Lightroom Mobile. Uh, there's a lot of great presets out there that you can try and then just tweak it to make it your own if you're a beginner or you can go in and make your own preset. Super easy. And sell it. Yep, and sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Visco's great. Um, yeah, I love Afterlight. Yeah, Afterlight's another great one. Yeah. Fun one here. Which languages do you speak and will you ever learn another language? So I won't say that I speak Spanish, but I lived in Nicaragua for seven months. Matt is Argentinian, so he speaks Spanish. And for like a hot minute there, I was kind of conversational. And then I moved back here and I didn't really use it and I lost it. But I can understand a lot of Spanish and I'm very scared to speak it, but I can speak <laughs> it a little bit. And I hope to one day speak it fluently. I'm sure you will. If you just like get back in there. Yeah, <laughs> get back in the game. <laughs> awesome. Let's do another one. Do you ever get lonely? And he says, I'm a freelancer and sometimes I get really down without coworkers. <laughs> um, so yes, I definitely do get lonely as a freelancer. I did before I had Danielle. Now that she's here, I don't really. Um, it's the biggest thing that I did to like combat that is made connections with other local bloggers. So we would like meet up, shoot together, work together for the day, just get lunch, like something to get other people in your daily routine. But I 100% connect to that. I used to work in an office and it gets really lonely as a freelancer. Okay, I have one more question that I also wonder <laughs> personally. How do you stay inspired? Ah, so many different ways. Um, Going to the mall when I know new arrivals are hitting the stores is a big one. Thrifting like always keeps me really inspired. Pinterest, following other bloggers, um, music, walking outside, um, the seasons, like just so many different ways that I can't put it into one. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys all for watching. Um, we will definitely make more of these if you like it. If you don't <laughs> like it, let us know. If you like it, let us know. And make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Woo!